Okay, so let's hop into the game here then. Please. This is my f only my second time GMing ever and my first time GMing on the show, so please bear with me. Um, if you know that I've done something wrong, um, just shut up and don't worry about it. Yeah, I have never, I have never damned. Okay. GM'd. Um, okay. Um, okay, so I actually think, um, rather than getting you guys to introduce yourselves, unless you guys really want to introduce yourselves, I could just get, no. like, you guys can just introduce yourselves to each other sure. in the, once the game starts. And we can yeah, slowly find things good. about you. Is that cool? Yeah, I just uh, realized I need to open up my character sheet here, so. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I managed to somehow lose it. Uh, do you want to do, do you want to kind of just roll up with your intro here or? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, actually, now that I've got this, I'm going to duplicate this tab so I can have both your character sheets open at once. So, um, the setting is OK, there we go. Um, so picture this. You are at a wedding. Um, this is not thematic at all to the weekend that I just had and is definitely not lazy writing. Um, you are, uh, it's just after a wedding, it's about <clears throat> 3 a.m., you're in a hotel ballroom with, uh, five other people. Um, one is the groom, Craig, he's, uh, in the corner on his cell phone talking animatedly to someone. Uh, the hotel manager, Pat, is talking to a plumber near the door, shaking his head. Um, the bride, Laura, is standing near the stage. And she is glaring at both of you. And then the other person in the room is um, both of you. So there's six people total. Um, the rest of the guests have left, but you've been told that you're not allowed to leave until things get sorted out. Uh, so um, essentially, there's been some damages. Um, weddings get kind of rowdy. Um, so you are not being allowed to leave because you are suspected of partaking in some of the damages or um, encouraging them. Um, so, um, essentially, um, what you're going to try to do is, um, keep the damages that you are, um, responsible for under wraps, um, and find out what other damages have been done and who you can blame it on so that you don't have to pay anything. Um, so you notice three things amiss. Um, one, there's water leaking out from under the bath bathroom doors near the back of the room. Um, two, there's a series of what appears to be muddy footprints tracked from one end of the room to the other. And three, the wedding cake has been knocked off of the stand and thrown, thrown against the walls. So there is like pink frosting everywhere. Um, and so, um, yeah, the, uh, Manager is trying to figure out the manager, the bride, and the groom are going to try and figure out which of you is responsible. Um, and go. Okay, so just just to recap, uh, yep. because my computer just exploded trying to open my character sheet, which is a bad omen. So we have we have woken up in uh, it's three a.m. Yes. The rump time. Woken so. up exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're well, but we're not lonely if we're here with each other, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Technically true. Okay, so it's it's three a.m. and mm -hmm. we've awoken in a hotel room together. Um, well, you haven't awoken, and it's not a hotel room. It is a hotel ballroom. It is after oh, a right. wedding. Right. Ballroom room. You guys are okay. very familiar, mostly familiar with what's going on. You guys have been drinking, so it's like you know, things are kind of fuzzy. Um, so in the hotel or in the ballroom is the groom in the corner talking on his cell phone. Yep. Um. The manager talking to a plumber, the um, bride who is just glaring at you guys, um, and then the two of you. Um, so one of you is a um, vaguely human shaped person, yeah. question mark, I'm um, guy. wearing yeah. a soggy brown tie um, yeah. and bifocals. Yeah. <laughs> um, and whose name is Christopher? Yes, that's thank you. Uh huh. Um, and then uh, the other is um, a an aunt named Susan, um, mm -hmm. 
nice. who um, you would just describe as Hagrid. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, you could, okay, gotcha. Hagrid, like the, not the Harry Potter, Hagrid, like, like bedraggled. Yeah, yeah. extremely gotcha. bedraggled. Extremely bedraggled. You're bedraggled. Okay. Uh, hi, hi, my name is um, Christopher, and do you know what's got going on here with the... Oh, Christopher, do I, am I, do I know, not know you? Are we, uh, sorry, it's been a long day at 3 a.m. Can you tell me what your relation to the, the, the bride and groom is? Ah, uh, um, yes, one of Kelly's four voices that he does. No, it's the same one, character. Though. Is it? Yeah, it's oh. Aunt Susan. This is why I said that oh. the, the groom should be named Craig, because that would be nephew Craig, your character. Oh, it's canonically, uh, you're the, your aunt, you're the canonical aunt lore. So you've, you've got aunt lore. Yeah, I've decided mm-hmm. this is a continuation of uh, gotcha. of a recent game we did in which uh, Aunt Susan and nephew Craig made an appearance. So you're, you're filling out like the extended Aunt universe. I love it. Well, I mean, that's up to the GM. But I, I have to. OK, so I need to. Do you know anything what's going on with the we can discuss here? We, we can rack our brains here to know what's going on with the Why are they not letting us leave here? You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been a long day. I came here on the red eye flight, and yep. I, uh, I, I, I forgot my prescription at home, and I got my uh, my friend's prescription in town. It's a totally different uh, medication, so I'm not sure what I'm on, but it's it's made me a bit loopy, and the wine hasn't helped. You know how it is when uh, when I go up to the Toonie bar. Wait, uh, wait. Do you know what a Toonie bar is? Where you watch cartoons? So well, so funny you should say Looney. So in, I'll give you some Canadian lore here. Um, in Canada, we have a, a one dollar coin. It's called a Looney because it has a lo- a picture of a loon yeah. on it. Um, it. And then the next one up has it is a two dollar coin, and it's called a Toonie. Um, so a Toonie Why is there a bar. Okay. Toonie bar would be like if someone was having a wedding. They would have a toonie bar that so like each drink is worth two dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. So gotcha. it's like a cheap, cheap drinks so that you can get your guests nice and hammered so they have a good time. That's a nice thing to have at a wedding. I love I've been drinking a lot of uh, human alcohol as well. It and, is uh, a nice thing to have at a wedding, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's Wait, a nice you, leader. Yeah. It gets people in the door. It gets people in the door. And, you know, um, the best part about social is being social with other people and, and human beings is it seems drinking alcohol and talking to each other which is what i've learned to do very well i mean what i've always done very well <laughs> i am my name's christopher right so wait i have a question for you nicole is this wedding canonically in canada did i fuck up because i mean my character is clearly like from the northeastern united states so you know what we're creating canada as we go so yes it is now canonically mm-hmm. in canada All right. well i did say i flew in from out of town so i came in canada uh, yeah, i'm from, from vermont from <laughs> yeah we're from vermont uh, but okay, can we discuss who did this? I didn't have anything to do with either of these things, for sure. For absolutely not, I don't think. Um, yeah, you're referring to the cake that's been knocked over and the footprints everywhere. Uh, yes. No, I'm a very clean person. I, I, I'm not a psycho like all these other Americans where the shoes inside. I don't like it. So I, I'm known as the. Well, they call it, you know, Japanese style where I live, which I think is very offensive because it's an entire country. It's mostly just Americans that wear their shoes inside. It's <laughs> kind of fucked up in my opinion, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't do something like that. Is that not normal <laughs> behavior for, for like a person or human to walk around with, um, with, with shoes? In no, door, it's indoors. horrible. Discovering okay. taking your shoes off in your own home. It's like discovering okay. using a bidet. You're just like, holy shit, how does anybody live this unhygienically? Okay, God, gonna, have I'm you gonna... smelled your own feet? Just take your damn <laughs> shoes off. You got it's it's your, your house is carpeted. You're on the couch putting your shoes on the damn couch. Jesus. Sorry. I get worked anything, up with the you? wine and whatever this medication is. Okay. I should I'm gonna go ahead and take my shoes off. Um just because I feel like I do. I feel like I've been called that a little bit. Um, I mean, we're in a hotel ballroom. I, I guess it's a little different. Most people wear shoes that is in true, a hotel ballroom. These are my ballroom. shoes. These are my shoes. In fact, shoes the floor too. is sticky. I'm gonna put my shoes back on. It's got that post wedding slayer of sludge, filth, stickiness. Oh, I like sludge. it. Sludge, how thematic. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's slime. Um, but okay, so we. <laughs> 
I didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yeah, who else is in this room again? We got a manager we could talk to. Can we talk to the manager when we get out of here? Yeah, let's go if talk could, to... Like, oh, I'd love to speak to the manager. Let's do could it. Could you kind of drag me, like... Could you kind of grab my arm and kind of drag me like you would, like, a large piece of, like... Just, like, I'm, I'm kind of slow. Could you kind of, like, help me get over there? I'm uh, kind of gesturing <laughs> a, a loose and kind of wet appendage at you in my suit. Oh, sure, sure. I do have mobility issues. You know, I'm not very okay. informed on these things, but I am trying to be an ally. <laughs> Okay, thank As you. has been canonically established. I like it. It's very nice. It's very fortunate. I just have a lot of issues with uh, physical space. Oh, okay. But you, you're letting me into your space to lead you by the sloppy you're gonna, wet You're going arm? to have to, and I'm sorry I am a bit. There's a lot of... Uh, there might be some, some wetness on my arm. And some, like, kind you of know what? Slimies. Everybody says this. I'm shockingly comfortable with these things. It makes you wonder okay. a lot. Anyway, so I want to, I want to take his arm and just kind of like lead him wherever he wants to go. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Um, should we? Let's actually let's do a roll for that. Yeah. Um, let's roll for. Oh God. Can you flip the dice cam on? Because like, is my video feed fucked up and choppy, or is it normal? Uh. It's been looking normal to me. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's sorry. just my computer that is just being to... insane. Yeah. Okay. No, you look great. Sorry, I hacked up. I need to pull up the sheet so that I can see the things that we can roll. Oh, dexterity? Is there a dexterity roll? It sounds like a dexterity roll, I think. Knowing nothing about... Um, uh, I don't think that's one of our things. Uh, I guess that I'm... would be like... Sorry, I'm looking for the list agility. of things. I mean, yeah. I'm bad at... I'm neutral on agility and I'm bad at speed and strength, so... Okay, great. You tell me this what is... that is. You should help. Yeah, you guys are running at like one frame per second for me, but as long as the feed is That's good. just how I move. That's just how my body moves. Okay, here we go. Um, Agility, I guess. Sure. Yeah, roll for agility there. Okay, so this is normal, Ant so I'm season. just going to roll one set of dice. Okay. Snake eyes. Are they both um, in the... What? It's not what snake eyes are. Okay, I was like, <laughs> man, the camera's really fucked up. I think I just don't know okay. what that is. And then you don't have any modifiers for that, right? You're good. Yeah, so that's just normal. I guess I didn't okay. give you, like, a roll table. I think... I don't know. I think the system we were doing is, like... Six is, like, a success, but with a consequence. Oh, yeah, you've got that in front of you? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just guessing because it's a middle-ish number. Um, so, yeah, you're able to sort of pull... Christopher with you but like you notice like your hand kind of like squishes like into what you would think would be the flesh of the arm um and you like you can feel like like maybe like larva or something like crawling over you and like your hand kind of the tips of your fingers just kind of like disappear for a second um but you're kind of pulling along um and as you're pulling him you notice there's like he's leaving a bit of a like a trail of like maybe like Oh, a snail trail. Greenish sludge. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. So, but you you do you do end up pulling over to the manager, but um, you you've left left a little bit of them on the floor, um, and you do have now squishy. Thank you. Ness on your hands. Like, has this injured him, or this is just normal? Oh, I'm I'm okay. Okay. This feels. I mean, uh, that was fine, right? Yeah, totally well, fine. I, I feel like as established, I'm shockingly comfortable with this kind of thing, so I just kind of roll with it, and I'm like, oh. Son, you must be Noivus. You're all just kind of, you're all I'm over the sorry, place. Ha ha. And I just like pat him uh, condescendingly <laughs> on the back. Or, no, not condescendingly, but patronizingly. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm a bit Hyperhydrosis. Oh, you and yes. your big words. You must be the one that went to grad school. I have some issues with, with, with sloughing, things sloughing off of me, which is a normal thing to have um, issues sure. with. Slime. Um, these are normal slimes to be having. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> um okay so uh you guys are going to talk to the manager are you gonna please i think we should right what do you okay. i mean i feel like the manager's who's in charge of letting us out of here we're not allowed to leave until we figure out what who did who done this mm -hmm. okay so what do you guys want to say to the manager um hello uh, can i speak to the manager um yes hello i am the manager my name is pat uh, Pat, oh, I, you know what? I has a cousin named Pat. She got the gout and then she died. Uh, yes, that's actually my uh, sister. Pat um, also died of gout. Um, might be the same person, but regardless. 
Um, I was actually just talking to our plumber Mario over here, um, who was uh, talking about the running water situation in the bathroom. Um, did he, did you, he say you... what happened with that, or what's going on, or like who might have done something like that? Uh, no, he actually he, he can't quite get. Um, okay. Um, he hasn't quite got to the bottom of it yet. Um, they've uh, they tried to rinse it out, rinse out the sinks, but they think they need some instant plumber. There seems oh, to be geez. some sort of gunk in there. The gunk. Gunking up the sink, yeah. So instant I, plumber, I, you got a plumber right there named Mario. I just ask him. When you say gunk, you mean like a viscous, like you don't mean like a viscous, like a, like a slime or anything, right? Yeah, there's at least ten types of gunk. I can name them like, if you want. <laughs> so, yes, please. Would you? Yeah, oh, I wouldn't want to eat up a lot. I wouldn't want to eat up your time. You have a lot of important things to do. Ah, uh, yes, I actually, uh, I need to be uh, leaving here in about twenty-seven minutes. So, if we could get along here. That'd what's, be great. What a specific an, uh, number. Yeah, <laughs> 27. Um, so, yeah, so I've just been talking to Mario, and he said, yes, every every sink, drain, and toilet has been clogged um, with oh, this gunk. Um, so oh, it's going to be, it's a real mess. Um, we're going to have to sort it out, and the, the plumbing bill is going to be extremely high. And I don't know why I'm suddenly yeah. British, by the way. Oh, I just... no. That's well, a real think, shame. You think the source of the problem is in the bathroom? Oh, well, certainly the source of one of the problems. As you can see, there, there are several problems in the room here. That, um, is that where the footprints are leading from? Is the bathroom? No, actually. It's, uh, that one's a bit of a mystery. They seem to be leading um, from the dance floor and then all sorts of, in all sorts of different circles. Um, yes, yeah, not entirely sure where it originated. It's hard to tell, um, but it, it walked back and forth across the floor several times. Um, whatever, whoever, whoever tracked that. Oh. If, if I could just look at everyone's shoes real quick and just see kind of, I do like a virg 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 virtual assessment of like people's shoes in the room. Um, yeah, let's uh, do a roll here. Just, I'm just trying to see something. Okay. So did here... you did you bring dice? Did I mention that? Oh, I have a, I have on my phone app. I have a dice rolling thing I can use. Yeah, sure. We can also roll yeah. in the camera here if you want. So oh, just roll in the camera. That's way more satisfying. All right. Yeah. So is this okay, something in... you're good or bad at, or just normal? Um, yes. Uh, perception. They have a, is a weak or is a strength. Yes. A strength. Or... Okay. So we're gonna roll two sets of dice. There's white and red, and you're gonna get the worst one. Okay. Okay. So sorry. All... Actually, I want to say you you can only check one person's shoes at a time. So one whose shoes are you gonna check first? One yeah. At a time. Okay. I'm going to check. Um. I'm going to check Aunt Susan's shoes right now. Mine? You would suspect me of whatever it is? I'm just trying to be sure about every... I'm, I'm, listen, I'm doing these one at a time, and you're kind of the first person. Okay. And so this is a... You got a six? Yes. Okay. So um, you can tell that there's, like, a little bit of mud on her shoes, but um, you it's hard to tell if it's from walking across the floor, which is covered with this brownish... Um, kind of muck. Um, you do also kind of perceive that there is like a bit of a smell coming from the muck, um, yeah. or from the what appears to be mud. It's mud um, stuff. It smells smells bad. Yeah, it's not not great. Um, okay, interesting. But uh, yeah, you, you can't really tell mm. what it is. Okay. Yeah. Am I able to do some kind of like smell check or taste test on the mud on the ground? <laughs> you sure can. I feel like I want to start with a smell check. Okay. And, and you see how have that a... goes. Okay, you have a perception bonus. Sure, do so... I? Yeah. Okay. Very perceptive. So you want me to roll that? Mm-hmm. And you're smelling. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my good number there is five. Um, okay, so you sniff it. Um, you can you yeah, you can also just smell okay, that smells kinda of bad, but you can't can't, you still can't tell what it is. Oh boy, there's no way of telling. And I try to make sure no one's looking, and I do a quick like pinky dip taste test. <sighs> okay, uh, roll again. Is it just perception again? Yes. Wait, this is something I'm good at. Yes. God, you think? Okay. Okay, so I got an eight for a good one there. <laughs> okay, you taste it, and you immediately realize that is human shit. 
You, you can tell the you can tell the species. Even. Yeah. Oh boy, this smells like human feces. Definitely a <laughs> smelling kind of situation. Okay. okay. I'm actually interested. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in that. Um, human feces. Mm-hmm. Human feces. Who? Human feces. I have looked at and Susan's shoes here, but I haven't made any particular sense. But can I look at? Can I look at the manager's shoes? Um. Yep. Yeah, you can do that. Or you know what? You know what? I'm gonna make more. Is there any way I can trace the path of the footprints? Like, um, or is it just unintelligible? Is it's like... it's it's pretty tough. It's um okay. yeah, it's hard to tell at this point. Um, it's been it's been kind of tracked all over. And gotcha. to be honest, there's probably gonna be a little bit on everyone's shoes. Okay, um, so maybe it's not but... worth it even checking that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, up to you though. You might be able to. Maybe there's a clue, but um... interesting. And the cake has been destroyed as well. Yes, yes it has. Okay. Can I do a further inspection on the cake? Or is that far away from me right now? Uh, no, you can go and check out the cake. Okay, I'm going to check out the cake, and I'd like to probe into it with my appendages. Okay. Um, okay, can you roll a perception? Um, or, Kelly, can you roll a perception I, for I our guest? Too. Okay. Perception. So I get two dice for this, right? Uh, yeah, you can roll, yeah, you can roll four, you, or sorry, you roll four dice, or two dice twice, and then you take the better of the two rolls. Okay. Badoosh. That's not good. That's a two. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Oh, I got an 11. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Nailed it. I hope. Okay, so two, okay, so, um, yeah, Kelly's just sent me the actual breakdowns of whether or not you get success. success. Yeah. Um. Cool. So you got an eleven. Yes. So eleven is That's pretty good. fucking good. So you look at the cake. In uh, first of all, you can tell that it is red velvet with cream cheese frosting. Um, you can tell that it was very tasty, um, mm-hmm. but that no one got to try it because um, so you can tell that someone in a blur of rage came in and shoved it over, um, and it splattered onto the ground, and then they threw it against the wall. So you can tell yeah. that this has been. A an act of intentional cake violence. I've done cake spatter analysis, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I've concluded mm-hmm. at this stage that it seems like there was a this is a crime of passion. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So someone who did this likely has some cake on on them as well, right? Would yes, think. correct. Hmm. Okay, so while while he's starting out that mystery, um, I I declare, oh, I, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick just to get the smell off me, and I'm gonna go like run my mouth under the tap to get the taste out of my mouth. So whatever he okay. does next, I won't be able to hear over the tap. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, who else do we have in the room here besides the manager? Um, so we have the um groom Craig, who is oh, in the yeah, corner yelling into a phone. Um, and then the uh, manager and the plumber, and then the wife, who is just uh, looking very angry and glaring at you mm-hmm. guys. Um, I think I'd like to talk to the wife. The wife? Okay. Uh, um, am I able okay. to just kind of mosey over to her? Uh, yeah. She just looks pissed. Maybe she knows something more about this. Okay. I do, do you want to make it noted that um, Aunt Susan, when she goes to go into the washroom, um, she just is like hit by like a flood of water. It oh, just yeah. like there's just it's it's like the doors are surprisingly well sealed like they are leaking a little bit at the bottom <laughs> but like as soon as she opens it like a wave <laughs> a wave of, door yeah a wave of water just like oh my gosh it's like that scene from Titanic where they're still like playing their instruments and then like the thing turns sideways and they all like fall into the water is that a thing yeah, I know um, right. I'm not sure why they did that but yes I remember that. Hmm. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Aunt Susan is, like... Is she okay? Uh, Aunt Susan? I've not been okay for a uh, long time. Okay. Do you want to roll something to see if you're okay? Okay, what am I rolling? Um, you're gonna roll... Um... I don't know, I guess... Strength? Resilience? Oh, I'm bad at that, aren't I? Resilience. Yeah, wait. Um, Resilience I'm good at. Yeah, you're good at resilience, yeah. Hell yeah, we're going with resilience, then. Okay. Wait, I can't I, see that. I believe that's a twelve. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. My wor- Oh, my good one. My good one is a twelve. Okay, sweet. So then you, um, the wave hits you, but um, as it hits you, 
you realize what's going on and you i guess it's i guess it's resilience and not like agility or anything um Oh yeah, so, yeah I'm, guess... I'm not agile. I don't think I just, I just <laughs> okay. you know, I just you somehow just the keep of this. surviving yes. despite all the random changes in my medication and all the <laughs> the drinking and the you know the just the general conflict in which I live my life. I think right. made you stronger, right. really. All of those things combined, like Mr. Yeah. Burns's immune system. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, that's yeah. me. But with also like that's also me with my Bruce. mental health. So there's like this like bipolar and depression and anxiety and like schizophrenia and they're all just crammed in the doorway trying to get through. But you're fine from being hit by the plumbing wave. Yeah. Absolutely. It like smashes you into the floor and you also get hit by like, um, like also like probably a face full of sludge as well. Um, it hits you like full on in the gullet and you like accidentally swallow some, um, but you're surprisingly okay. And you're like, that was actually pretty tasty. You know, I've had worse sludge, if we're being honest. <laughs> it's good to hear. It's mm. not the worst sludge I've ever tasted. I'm over there. I'm, I'm nodding approvingly. That she's that was so much sludge. Okay. It was a real sludge fest. Hey. Dot substack dot com. That's, br- that's meta. That's breaking the fourth wall. It's like Ready Player One. It's just Never good promoting. It. It's good branding, movie. sweetie. Um... Uh, what am okay. I looking? Was I heading towards the wife? Yes, you're heading towards okay. the bride. Um, I guess they're not what, married. And we, yeah, okay. Um, oops. Um, so yeah, so what would you like to say to the bride? Um, are you mad at us? Well, I can't say I'm very impressed. Um, my wedding's been ruined. Um, I, uh, sorry. The rich character sheet skin. My wedding's been ruined. My mm. cake has been destroyed. Clearly, mm. I my, the bathrooms have been destroyed, and um, someone's tracked what I believe is human feces all over the yeah. floor. So it does seem someone's, feces. Yeah. Someone's going to pay this bill, and it's not going to be me. Interesting. Okay, and you think we had something to do with it, maybe, or at least maybe, I maybe I, Susan. I don't. I can't. I can only speak for myself. I just. I don't know. I, well, I have a suspicion. You, you, you two are probably the sketchiest looking people at this party. So, well, yeah, I would, uh, um, that's I'm you know what? Normal. It's very unfair that people th- just because someone looks haggard, people think they look sketchy, and I, I think that's a re- very stereotyped opinion. I agree. I as a, I know I might look like a big writhing mass of like um, algae or, or litter or, or gunk, but I'm actually a person. Listen, oh. Christopher, you are only here because Craig invited you. I okay. tried to tell him not to, so okay. I don't even We're know why you're there. here. Okay. And Susan, wow. we have been asking you to stop coming to family events for years. You always cause a disturbance. You always piss somebody off. I don't even know how you found out that we were having our wedding here. Well, through the grapevine, of course. How else would I find out? I got, listen, I, I got my hands on an invitation. That's all you need to know. <laughs> to be clear, I, I did not come with her either. So maybe I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily have to be lumped in with whatever Aunt Susan. No offense to Aunt Susan, but this, are you telling me I can't come to weddings just because just because I got divorced from your uh, from your new husband's uncle? Yes, absolutely. That's well, exactly Well, you know what, that what? I'm Catholic, so I don't believe in divorce. So does it really count? That's yeah, uh, uh, lawyer. I, mean, I was the... invited too. To be clear, I was invited. Yeah, no, I'm where you were invited. And I have an invitation that Is... I received. <laughs> I obtained. So. <laughs> you so we're really we're in the same kind of boat here. Boat. Listen, I... Of possessions. I didn't really think about my inventory. What can I use here? See, I have a. Right, I have a Kevlar vest, which I is, I'm imagining. <laughs> well, okay, so as you know, Aunt Susan has made a handful of enemies in her lifetime. Mm-hmm. And For so, you idea. know, she's she's kind of got that, like, smart, like, Murphy Brown, big padded shoulders pantsuit on, is what I'm imagining. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. wears a Kevlar yes. vest under that. I know exactly uh, what you mean. Oh, and I have a lock picking set. Are there any lock doors <laughs> that I see? Um, there's a lock, I guess you could unpick the bathroom lock and lock the doors, or you could try and escape through the ballroom doors. Those so are like the only escape, two locks in the room. but we don't solve the mystery, do I win? Like, as a... Legally. Um, 
I, I'm going to guess that if you try to pick those locks, there will be a security guard on the other side of the door. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, shoot. So the staff have locked us in, right? That's right. Or the, yes. the bride. Or at the behest of the bride. Um, yes. at the, I think at the behest of the bride and groom. Yes. Right. Am I, are we being detained? Yes. Yeah. Are we okay. being detained? <laughs> Yes, I point being... to the I point to the fringe on the flag up on the wall, and I'm yeah. like, "This is an admiralty hotel ballroom." I'm I'm not convinced. Of your the laws don't. I do not this, consent but... to your laws. You I... yeah. You may or may not be being illegally atta- detained, right. but uh, detained. based on the 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 groom, the bride and groom. Well, the the bride specifically was right. Um, talked to the manager, and and the manager looking at the state of the ballroom was like, "Yeah, somebody's got to fucking pay for this." So oh, I mean, risk I'm willing to hearing from Miley. From my lawyers, at least. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah, and Susan tries to call her lawyer right now. Wait, just, do you yeah. have do you have a cell phone in your inventory? Uh, no, I do not have a cell phone Oof. in my inventory. Oh, suck it then. <gasps> Lock picking. No, did they take? <laughs> Where's my cell phone? The manager has a cell phone. In Christopher, do you have my out. cell phone? Uh, I do. The not manager have a cell does phone. not have a cell phone. The groom has a cell phone. I'm off. Oh, grid. Uh, is is the groom in the room? Yeah, he's in the corner talking on his cell phone angrily. Okay, I go up to Nephew Craig. Nephew Craig, it's me, Aunt Susan. Oh, I missed you so much. And I go give him a kiss on the cheek. Okay, so from the other side of Greg's phone, you hear um, a voice that you recognize on the outside just screaming, Is that Susan there? I can't believe you're still talking to her. You know that I hate that woman. How dare you? Oh, boy. Oh, Oh, Craigie, who's that? Uh, it's Grandma Gertie, Aunt Susan. Um, honestly, I don't even know why you're here. Um, Grandma Gertie, listen, I don't even know why you're, why you're talking to her. She snubbed your wedding. She didn't even show up. It seems real rude. Gertie says, excuse me? And I, I reach over go. and I want to press hang up on the phone. Okay, yeah. you're going to have to roll for that. To check for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to roll, let's say speed. Would you have said agility if you didn't know I was bad at speed? Um, maybe. Okay, well, I got a three. Okay, so you do not get to press hang up on the phone. You, um, you, s- you go to reach for it and you slip in the water and sludge and, like, human feces that's on and cake that's on the floor and you fucking yep. fall flat on your face. Mm. And you hear Aunt Gertie going, that fucking bitch. Oh, boy. Oh, here he goes. You know what, goes, Greg? I say laying on the floor and trying to, like, brush off the feces off of my <laughs> Murphy Brown pantsuit with big shoulders. And I just kind of say, you know what? I think that, um, po- poisonly, I think that Aunt Gertie came in here and she she knocked the cake over because she was mad at, she. you know what? She's mad at you because you married a woman who is a, and she says a slur that I won't repeat. Let's see if this cancel. Can you roll a persuasion? All right. There you go. Is she good um, at this? Yep. She certainly okay. is. Somehow this is okay. All I will say this is, is that the slur <laughs> contains like a mathematical term that refers to fractions. You're, you're, you're rolling for an intimidate here. I like it. So persuasion is good, right? Uh, yeah. Perse- uh, yeah, persuasion yeah, is so good. I got a, I got a nine. nine. You got a nine. So mixed success. Okay, so... He looks skeptical, but he's he's turning back to his phone to ask Aunt Gertie for her. Uh, he's he's like, oh, maybe that's true, but because um, Aunt Gertie's kind of mean. But he turns back to ask Aunt Gertie for what her side of the story is, and she starts to say, "I had my had my invitation. I was told that the wedding was called oh. off. That's why I came in and smashed the cake, <gasps> and I demand to know who told me that 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 the wedding was called off. It was an anonymous note." And I need to know who who sent it. Now you said that was a mixed success, but wait, wasn't that uh, wasn't that me redirecting attention for myself? Isn't that my unique talent? Um. Oh, I guess. I feel like that makes an eleven. No. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Is that I mean, you're the GM. Yeah, I'm two to the thing. So. That's what the unique talent is. Oh. Susan has an uncanny she... ability to redirect attention to oh, something yeah, else when she, she does, wants to take yeah. the heat off herself. Interesting. Well. Okay, well then, uh, yeah. He, yeah, so he's like, oh, fucking classic Granny Gertie. Uh, Grandma Gertie, like, he kind of rolls his eyes and he, like, covers the, the phone with his hand. And he goes, you know, Aunt Susan, like, I kind of understand why you guys don't get along. Oof. 
Devastating. Yeah, you know what, Craig? We've we've been through a lot together. More than we can get to get uh, more than we can touch on in this brief conversation, but I uh listen, your Aunt Gertie, she always said mean things about me, and she always said mean things about you. So mm-hmm. what you need to understand is that you, I mean, she basically admitted it. It seems like she really knocked over the cake and or trampled her feces on the floor. I don't know that she meant. Did she mention the? Did she mention the feces aspect? Is that addressed in the phone? You know call? what? I don't listen to a lot of uh, things that she says, so who can say? But uh, presumably, one of you was paying better attention than I was. Okay. Sorry, I got off my ADD medication, and I'm on this. Uh, what's this? It's cocaine. That's what it is. <laughs> well, that settles at least one of these mysteries here, right? Because we have clearly enough evidence that this woman messed up the cake in a jealous rage. Mm. Um, yeah, you yeah. know what? You know who probably made her mad? It was that uh, that distant cousin we don't talk to anymore, Bubble Butt. It was all her. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's really um, salting the earth for all these people's relationships. I think Susan is messy. <laughs> yeah. Craig goes, you know what? Yeah. I am messy, but I always hear salt of the earth is a good thing, so I try to salt <laughs> the earth wherever I go. That's right. That's what they say. <laughs> Um, yeah, Craig goes, yeah, I don't know. We haven't really talked to Bubble Butt in a long time. It seems kind of weird that she would do something like that. Um, can you roll persuasion again? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a nine is my good Pretty number. Good. Oh, okay, and then, um, yeah, and you are trying to direct the heat up yourself, so that's an 11 again. Nice. And goes, Hell you yeah. And Susan, despite the fact that you've crashed my wedding and upset upset my wife um i i'm gonna take your word for this one um just just wish i knew who'd made that call um yep well you know what i may have crashed your wedding but uh you'll you'll love the wedding gift i gave you and if you look inside the box it's just like a just a giant like satchel of valium oh good lord um craig goes oh thanks that's uh Yep, should have seen that one coming. Yeah. So anyway, I'm glad we saw. I'm glad we ended this on good terms. And she gives Craig like a big. Uh, I'm gonna say a big kind of. You know, when somebody gives you a chest kiss on the cheek, but it's somehow wetter than any kiss oh. you've ever gotten on the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she gives That's Craig nice. one of those, and then she runs back to. Was it Christopher? That's right. Yes. Yeah, we didn't change our names this time. Uh. Oh, whoops. Uh, my my thing is so unbelievably frozen. I can't do anything. So if you want to change our names again, yeah, I can do that. Uh, That's usually yeah, Josh's just job in a very timely manner. So I went up to uh, Christopher and said, "Okay, let's uh, solve this feces. Here's my plan. I think <laughs> we just compare stool samples. So everyone still in this room, you're gonna shit in a bucket, and we're gonna compare oh the smells to what's on the floor." Oh boy. Okay, you're gonna have to. Roll a roll mighty persuasion, persuasion um, with probably I want to say disadvantage because you're convincing four different people to shit in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not that's not something we normal we normally do, right? I'm just I mean I know I already know, but I'm just people don't usually <laughs> shit in buckets. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll these four dice and you tell me what happens. Okay. So I'm I'm initially not super opposed to the idea. Okay, so what is I can't really see what you've got there. I've got my sorry. I've got my screen kind of small, so I can uh, see. I see if I even uh, I see it's four sixes. That's incredible. That's yeah, that's weird. That's, that's, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm I think believe Kelly just. It's a, no, it's ocean. You oceans that's twelve. Sorry, like I said, it's my computer. The frame rate is really choppy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to roll again without cheating there this time? Okay. The ocean's eleven to our ass. I think it's ocean thirteen. I didn't cheat the first time, Oof. but you know, in good faith, oh, that's no good. Oh, that's, that's not, not good. good at all. <laughs> yeah. So everyone says, absolutely fucking not. We're not doing that. Um, but the, I, not only are we not doing that, but I think we want to. I think we're gonna get you specifically to shit into a bucket while we all watch. already on it. Susan. Okay. And me. Mm-hmm. okay. Oh yeah. I'm wait. Did you meet to... me or Christopher? We're standing close I, to each other, so I couldn't tell you was staring at when you said you. I am making a, a 
silent, but um, as quickly as I can, uh, sliding towards the, the door while people are discussing this. And my, my play is, is to kind of squish myself underneath the crack in the door frame. Under, wait, um, underneath okay. the door? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and is... I'm going to have to shed my clothes for this. Like my human, I mean my, okay, the jig is up. I simply need to reveal my true form, I think. So what I'm going yeah. to do is remove my human clothes and make a play for the door. Um, I, I tendrils of algae and slime uh, unroll from my from my office shirt that has been broken open, and I I kind of release like a water balloon onto the ground as like a big mass of uh, really foul smelling goo from the river. Um, full of bugs and, and little critters, uh, and I start kind of sliding as a one thick, viscous mass towards uh, <laughs> the door as one being. Okay. Um, so you do, are do trying I to notice sneak this is away. Oh, I, I, I mean, that's... Oh. Well, you're, you're trying to... Right? You did say you're trying to sneak away while everyone's figuring this yes, out, right? I'm trying so to do this you're... as quietly as possible. Okay, so you're going to roll stealth, which you're bad at, it, at but you do have <laughs> the unique ability... Okay. Um, of See, fitting through thing. small you places. Always, when you're an octopus, you always pick a stealthy octopus. That's, right. that's just that's, that's right. just smart game playing. Um, so as a as a mass of slime and goo, you have no bin, no bones, and can fit through small spaces. Um, yes. so you should be able to slide under the door, but um, I do need you to roll stealth with disadvantage. Gotcha. Would that be two? Still yeah, two, two sets of die. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The worst one is a seven. Okay. Um, so you mix success. So you um, do make it to the door, um, and I'm gonna say you start sliding under. But uh, it does say you, you take several minutes. Um, so you are you've got like maybe one kind of appendage slid out the door, mm -hmm. um, and uh, but you do. Aunt Susan does notice you oh, leaving. Oh yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to, at this point, I don't really feel a lot of solidarity because I, I feel like I get the sense that um, he's trying to escape via a door crack. And while I don't fully understand like the mechanics of it, because I, I feel like Octodad style, I didn't notice that he was an or that he was whatever he is. Yeah, but it's a very I, Octodad strategy. Very I much. just feel betrayed and I yes. want to redirect attention. So I just want to like scream out, hey, look, he's some sort of... Lovecraftian horror, get him! You did, don't look oh, no. at me. <laughs> don't bother. Okay. Um, okay, so then I guess you're gonna roll something to do with speed and getting away from people. Where is our rolling things? Um, you're gonna roll agility I... there, Christopher. I'm assuming I'm great at that. Okay. <laughs> um, my new, you does are that, does my unique that. talent to redirecting factor in here. So you just have to roll once. Okay. Because you don't uh, have. I, a, I got a five. Um, so you, you don't manage to get out there. Um, Shit. um, so the, <clears throat> the entire crew jumps on you and kind of is able to scoop the majority oh, of geez. you into the same bucket that aunt Susan was pooping into a second oh, ago. Oh no. <laughs> or I mean, that's actually for me. That's actually fine. It's, yeah, I'm kind of used to that, but. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, we're getting close to time here um the manager so yeah i guess the manager upon Shit. revealing this that you are a sticky mass of goop the plumber goes oh my god that's exactly the goop that we found in the drains yeah i was, was like, avoiding that's... saying this but i was trying to wash my hands and some of my goose left into the first you know first you wash your hand at one sink it starts to clog up you panic and you start trying the other ones but i was trying to blend in um, but you see now that that was all for naught because i've been revealed Sorry, I messed up, messed up the plumber's voice. Um, so oh, the please. plumber, the plumber Mario is clearly, <laughs> clearly says, "Oh my God!" <laughs> <laughs> that was my best Mario voice. That was best. really good. Thanks. So um, the, the sorry, oh, the, no, plumber's goes, the plumber's yeah. catchphrase when he is very surprised is, "Oh my God!" <laughs> it's uh, yes. And he okay. goes, "It's not." Oh! It's not Oh, I can't. It's not Mamma Mia, to be clear. It's not Mamma it's, Mia. It's, it's... It's, um, oh, oh, my God. I mean, that's okay, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, 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 oh my <laughs> God. Surprised, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm doubling down on that. 
Um, it's, it's, oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Oh my god, I make a the oh olive oil. It's all just kind of like he's kind of like a <laughs> secondary <laughs> stereotype. A college gee whiz. Yeah, he's yeah, I imagine he's not happy either. Yeah, he is very unimpressed. He's he's broken several tools trying to uh fix this problem. Um yeah. And the, the manager, the having scooped you into a bucket, um, is uh, like, "Well, we've we've got you now. You have to, Fuck. you're gonna have to pay up and pay for this." Oh, um, yeah. So I'll give you. Well, I guess I'll... We... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I can give you one last chance to persuade mm-hmm. them out to you know ch- convince them not to. Uh, could not I, could to... I use any of my items gotcha. at the same time? Um, you have oh a God. live garter snake. <laughs> Sorry. You have pays on, okay. Um, which you can use Sorry, as a diversion, what, or you have a slippery What item category was a uh, live garter snake? Distraction, I think. <laughs> diversion. Oh, okay, that sounds like diversion, a good one. Yeah. What was the other one? I already forgot. Uh, for slippery one. goo, which you could use as a. Tool. That's just me. Okay, okay. I can. All right, I can make someone slip on that. Okay. Um, I'm going to deploy my garter snake and kind of release it in a startling fashion. It was kind of living in the folds of my um, corpuscle or whatever. I'm okay. um, releasing it to kind of freak everyone out, and while that happens, I can kind of jostle out of the bucket and make my second escape. Okay, that's right. Deploy that garter snake like you were Prince Charles. Okay, right. Just, <laughs> sorry, no. King Jesus Charles. Christ. I'm sorry, okay. I can't sorry. Believe you made me remember that. So I'm gonna say you're gonna roll. Um, let's say speed for this one. Love it. Okay. okay. Um, I'm rolling just once. Yeah. Uh, seven. A seven. Okay. Um. Yep, so mixed success. So you, okay, yeah, I guess you wriggle out of the bucket, um, yes. but you you wriggle out of the bucket, and you know what, you're able to wriggle under the door, but you notice as you've left that you left your wallet behind, and, you know, being an amorphous blob that can't get a bank account, you've <laughs> you've kept all your cash in there, so you did end up, oh, in shit. fact, paying for the damages. Um. So. Oh. Dang, I needed that stuff. I needed money for... My human thing. and whatnot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, the manager, bride, and groom, um, sated and satisfied by the fact that they've uh, found someone to cover the damages, uh, are, um, decide to let everyone else go. And um, that's the end of our story. Made it out of there, though. Mm-hmm. Live another we day. Made it out. Made it out. Now, if I if my computer wasn't running at one frame per second here, uh, I would be playing that dramatic outro music right now. Oh, yeah, you kind of beatbox. Yeah, I could something. probably do that. It's it's there. It's just yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. You could right, beatbox right. to this. You could do a jaunty dance right. to this. This uh, is me beatboxing. Right? Okay, so we are like, honestly. Five we'll just take over. five takes at it, and you try to be boxed all of them, and whichever one is the best, we'll keep in, and that'll really get us. We'll just it, 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 it. yes. Okay, nothing we can't fix in post, you know. Mm. Totally. Okay, so we are five minutes over. Kelly, did you want to fess up to what you did? Oh boy. Okay, so I. Okay, I, I I'm trying to remember the verbal correction you gave me earlier. So I told Grandma Gertie not to show up. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my reasoning was, uh, well, it's just still the same, right? Like my reasoning mm-hmm. was because she says mean shit to me. Yeah. Um, but the outcome was different in that she did show up and she came and fucked up the cake. Yeah. yeah. She didn't show up to the ceremony. Then she realized what was happening. Um, someone called her and was like, what well, grandma, Gertie, where are you? And she was like, what? And she, um, yeah, came to the wedding, fucked up the cake, and then left. And... Five-dimensional chess. Mm-hmm. Well, my computer's working normally again. I think it's just the dice cam that breaks it. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Not interesting to anybody watching. To roll so for that. Um, yeah. yeah, Christopher, I'll do it, and also known as... absolutely tank me here. Sorry, continue. You guys do your is... thing. Christopher, also known as Glom. Um, That's my true name, yes. <laughs> tried to, uh, as we know, tried to wash their hands in the sink and uh sink and toilets and drains yeah. i guess yeah. um because you clogged everything in the bathroom yeah, according to your okay. secret okay. Uh, <laughs> and so uh that's why the bathroom was flooded um and then the 
secret secret um, that neither of you knew was that the bride um, got real drunk, um, shit her dress, and then tracked it all over the floor. <gasps> That's who the poop was. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering oh. that. Chekhov's poop. Chekhov's poop. Wow. We've been bamboozled. Wow. I assume that was coming from the plumbing disaster as well that I may have caused. Oh. That's right. That Chekhov's poop. poop. Chekhov's poop means that if there is poop in the scene, someone uh-huh. will shit that poop by the end of the play. You gotta know who shit the poop. 